hi students and this is the continuity for the last videos our last last videos we discuss about the mole fraction parts per million mass percentage mass by volume percentage and in mole fraction so for the dilute solution the amount of solute is negligible in the solution so usually mole fraction we can take for example if you take the mole fraction of a solute is equal mole fraction of solute is equal number of moles of solute by number of moles of solute plus a number of moles of solvent but uh, for the dilute solutions the number of moles of solute in the denominator side is a uh, negligible because as compared to the solvent the amount of solute is very less in a dilute solutions so that in denominator side number of moles of solute is negligible so that uh, we can write mole fraction of the component a for the dilute solution is equal to n a by n b it is not a n a by n a plus n b so n a by n a plus n b is for the concentrated solution so for the dilute solution so we can take only n a by n b because uh, here n a is the moles of the solute that moles of the solute is negligible in denominator side and uh, this mole fraction is uh, useful to calculate the vapor pressure of the gases and about this we will discuss in a uh, Raoult's law and Henry's law. So next, and what are the concentration terms we discussed up to now? Those are physical methods, means weight percentage, mass percentage, volume percentage, mass by volume, parts per million, and a mole fraction. These are the physical methods to express the concentration of the solution now we will go into the chemical methods to express the concentration of solutions in that uh, the most important one is the molarity so this molarity we represents with the capital m so molarity means it is the number of moles of solute dissolved in one liter of the solution is known as the number of uh, is known as the molarity and uh, simply we represent the molarity is equal number of moles per unit volume so here volume we have to take uh, in liters if you take a volume in a li ml m is equal to n into thousand by volume in ml and from this only we can find out the number of moles is called molarity into volume in liters otherwise number of moles is called m into volume in ml by thousand and we know that to find out the number of moles we have the one equation that is a weight by gram molecular weight weight by gram molecular weight is the equation to calculate the number of moles and then units uh, for this uh, molarity is uh, moles per liter from the def uh, equation only we can get a m is equal to n by v here n represents moles and v is the volume in liters So, and this uh, molarity is uh, depends on temperature. As the temperature is increases, molarity is decreases. Because, for example, here you know that temperature is directly proportional to volume. And uh, this uh, temperature and volume relationship is uh, given by the Charles law. So, according to Charles law, as the temperature increases so the volume of the gas is also increases whenever the volume is increases molarity is 
decreases because here the relationship between the volume and molarity is inversely proportional so as temperature increases volume is increases when the volume is increases molarity is decreases so that this molarity is depends upon the temperature and to find out the molarity of the any solution m is equal to weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by volume in ml and this equation also we can get from this only so here we know that n is equal to weight by gram molecular weight just in place of a number of moles n we have to substitute the weight by gram molecular weight and for the competitive exams we have to know the some useful formulas and here molarity m is equal to 10 into x by gram molecular weight here x nothing but weight by volume percentage weight by volume percentage or mass by volume percentage so if in case in the question if they mention the density of the solution at the time we have to use this equation so molarity m is equal to 10 into x into d by gram molecular weight so sometimes instead of mentioning this uh, density they will mention the specific gravity so at the time we have to use this m is equal to 10 into specific gravity into x by gram molecular weight and uh, so in first year we did the some titration techniques in that titration technique we use this m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 and this is the formula we can use when the solutions are diluted which contains same number of moles for example here you can take a one test tube so in this test tube if i take a one mole of hcl and in another test tube if I take a uh, one mole of NaOH means here HCl is the acid and NaOH is the base and the number of moles of these two components is the one mole and one mole means these two solutions are having the equal number of moles so whenever we are adding the equal moles containing two solutions we can get the one uh, unknown solution so to this unknown solution to find out the volume and molarity we can use this equation for example if uh, HCl is having the M1 molarity and volume is the V1 and NaOH molarity is the M2 and uh, volume is V2 so if i know the molarity of the hcl volume of the hcl and uh, volume of naoh we can easily find out the volume of sorry molarity of naoh so whenever the solutions which contains the uh, same number of moles at the time we have to use the equation m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 and next one is so when uh, diluted when the solutions are diluted which contains different number of moles so different number of moles so at that time we have to use m1 v1 by n1 is equal to m2 v2 by n2 and uh, 